What's going on guys, Kane here, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are back again with another review video. And in today's review video, we are going to be taking a look at something pretty cool, okay? Well, I mean, you've seen the thumbnail by now, but yes! That's right, I got the Jack Pacific Sonic Movie 3 4 pack with the light up Sonic and Shadow action figures. So, I already uh, finished reviewing all of Wave 1. Now all I need to do is just finish reviewing these bad boys. So yeah, of course I got this four pack. So here it is in all of its glory. We can see all our friends right here. We got Sonic, uh, the new Angry Tails. Shadow and they both light up um, and then the first ever Sonic Movie 3 5 inch knuckles figure And as of right now, this is the only way you can uh, get knuckles But don't fret because there is uh, gonna be wave 2 that's gonna come out and there's gonna be um, Knuckles is gonna be sold separately. There's gonna be another tails figure, but with a chow head and then I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like another shadow figure with a different facial expression. I think he's like angry and he's showing his teeth. And that'll be like the fourth shadow figure we've gotten. Um, because we have, you know, this one, uh, the regular one, and then the one that comes with the motorbike or, um, you know, the motorcycle or whatever. Um, I, I haven't gotten that, that one yet. Um, because I mean, I just don't really see the point. Um, if I were to get it, it would only be for the motorbike because there's... Just no point in getting that figure. Just for the motorbike, really. But who knows, maybe I'll get that one because I do, you know, I got to get Shadow's motorbike. How am I gonna have Shadow without his motorbike? That just don't make any sense. But anyways, yeah, here is the four pack. You can see all the figures right there. They're all trying to fight Shadow, just like in the trailer. So yeah, here's a closer look at the front of the box. See the box, sorry, it looks super cool um you can see uh, this new render of shadow right here and uh he looks perfect he looks so good man you can see all the electricity coming out of him and sonic 2 these are just the same old reused renders from the sonic movie 2 uh, i think this one's from uh yeah the first movie but nothing wrong they still you know fit in you know they, they match and i like this sonic render anyways like i like the movie one renders you got your uh, knuckles and tails action four pack, and you got you know the Sonic the Hedgehog movie three logo right there, remixed version of the SA two logo Sonic Adventure two. Try me. So I did already remove like the little thingies on the side because you can see like the try me thing is right there, but you had to remove it on both sides so you can actually um, see the figures light up. So let's go ahead and press the button. And there you go. Yeah. Look at that. Look at him go. <laughs> Dang, Sonic's way brighter than Shadow. Yeah, that looks so cool, man. Sick, dude. Oh, Shadow's still going on right there. You go. So yeah, only Sonic and Shadow light up, not Tails or Knuckles. Which makes sense because Sonic and Shadow are like, well, the main hedgehogs and, you know, Tails doesn't really light up and Knuckles, well, he lights up a little bit like in the show, but mostly Sonic and Shadow. As for the size of the box, you can see Sonic right there, you know, finger pointing at you, his name there in big letters, Sonic, Jack Pacific logo, and same on the other side, but with Shadow. You can see another new render that we haven't seen before, so that looks pretty cool, man. He looks so menacing, intimidating, just staring down at you, staring right into your soul. Yeah, man. Looks great. So you got the Sonic Movie 3 logo on top yet again, with the Jack Pacific logo underneath his name, Shadow, and big letters. Yep. As for the back of the box, you can see the figures are supposed to look like. You can see Sonic and Shadow all lit up. Sonic plus Shadow light up. 
but yeah. And the batteries are included, well of course, I mean, we already tested that out. <clears throat> uh, you can see knuckles right there, and then tails, angry tails. So yeah, it's not the same figure as before, he does have a new facial expression. Same thing with Sonic, yep, and then the Sonic Boy 3 logo right there. And I really love the design and everything, you know, you have the background of like Japan or Tokyo or like I, I think, yeah, that's where the scene takes place. And you can see like the the background, like there's a nice background. I like that. So overall, I really love the way these figures are set up in the box and stuff. It looks really cool. All right, but enough said. Let's go ahead and uh, free these guys. And they are strapped in, so I'm gonna need my handy dandy scissors. But there is tape on the sides. And luckily I won't have to completely destroy the box I can actually salvage it um, I don't think you're gonna be able to put the figures back in here oh yeah no yeah, maybe but I'm not gonna put them back in the box but I would still like to keep the box so yeah so let's just uh, take the tape off so how does it work oh dang you even got like design on the inside of the box look Sonic 3 that's so cool man you're putting a lot of effort into this Ooh, I put a lot of care into like, designing this box. Wow! Look at that! There they are! They look so cool! And you can see the backdrop as well. That is nice. Okay. Oh, yo! <laughs> look! So there they are. On the box, get a closer look at each figure. Alright, so. They are strapped in, of course. So I got my handy dandy scissors right here. And let's just snip. 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 Oh, that should be easy. Ah. Yes. Yes. Ugh. There we go. Yes. Finally, got all the figures. Alrighty, so the first one we're gonna be taking a look at is Sonic right here. So here he is. He looks way past cool. Oh man, I think I'm um, starting to love this Sonic figure more than the other one. Um, so I know he does have less articulation. Um, he doesn't have the butterfly joints, uh, uh, unfortunately. So I know he has less articulation and he doesn't have the butterfly joints. So I know he doesn't have as much articulation and he doesn't have the butterfly joints, unfortunately. Um, but that's okay. Uh, he also doesn't have the waist swivel because, um, of course, you know, the uh, he has the button right there um, that you press um, for the lights um, so he can light up. <clears throat> and uh, he probably doesn't have butterfly joints either. So they could have you know put room for the batteries um, but uh, yeah but he's pretty much the same figure as before except the only difference is the head sculpt on um, the facial expression um, this one is uh, more like the one um, from movie 2 it's more like the old figure actually in fact let's go ahead and compare him to uh, the old figure so yeah they just took the head sculpt from this one but made it bigger and better so yeah and this one looks way better than the old one because, you know, he's got the realistic eyes. And yeah, and I love the fact that his smile is also like sculpted in. So yeah, and they kind of just like paint over it or whatever, or I guess write or draw over it. So yeah, so I got a very good looking one. Um, the paint job on this figure is amazing. Um, you like know, see all the details and stuff. You can see his quills, of course, that's where they light up. So uh, yeah. Um, he still has all the same articulation. Um, he can move his head. Uh, whoops. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's got. Um, oh wait, does he have butterfly? No, he doesn't have butterfly joints. Um, he can still open his hands. Uh, he got, you know, he got a bend at the elbows right here. The ball, ball peg. So yeah, I'm going down to the legs. Let's see. Sonic can kick. Oh this far and kick back um 
about this far, which is very nice. Um, and then, you know, you got the bend at the knees. Yeah, ball peg right there. Let's see, well, you, you get a hinge uh, for the arms. So you can, you know, you know, you can do that. I almost forgot to show that. But anyways, back to the legs. Uh, oh yeah, his shoes give a great, you know, classic red with the white stripes and the yellow pop thingies on top. Um, you can see like the material on his shoes. I love that, like the texture or whatever, the design. And you can even see like how realistic his socks look. And then you have like a hinge on his shoes too. So that you can move them up or down. You get a little swivel out of that and you get a, a swivel out of the gloves as well. Uh, he also has a hinge right there where his wrist is. So you can move the hands up and down. So yeah. Um, oh yeah, and his, his legs can spread out. <laughs> this far, you make him do the splits. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Let's not do that to my boy Sonic. Ah, I keep pressing the button on accident. So yeah, so that's pretty much um, it for articulation. Um, here he is next to the, the figure from Wave 1. So yeah, both the same figure, except this one. Uh, no waist swivel, no butterfly joints, and he lights up. Um, I say this is the better figure. Um, like, don't get me wrong, I love this guy right here. Um, this one is better though when it comes to articulation. Um, but the head sculpt on this one is just so much better. Like, I like the facial expression on this figure, but this one just has like that more classic Sonic look. Like, he actually looks like Sonic. Like, he, this is what Sonic is supposed to look like. Um, this one still looks like Sonic, but the thing about this one is that it kind of looks like a little weird because the eye shapes, they're like wide open. Like, it doesn't curve like this one. Like, his eyes actually, like, like curve down. Like they're supposed to, or I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, I just like that, like um, very um, confident expression that he has. If you if you get what I'm saying, so yeah. Like on this one, his eyes almost look like tails. His eyes, because of how wide open they are. Uh, but yeah, but they're still great, you know. But this one is the better figure you know, when it comes to articulation. But this one, I'm definitely gonna be using this one for display. So yeah, this is. My favorite Sonic figure I own in my collection, by far. So with these two out of the way. Now, let's take a look at Tails. So here is a new Tails figure. Pretty much the same figure as before, but one thing that I noticed on this one that I completely ignored on the other one, um, I had assumed that just because he was a smaller figure that he didn't have butterfly joints, but he does! Look, this one has it, so I'm pretty sure that the old one has it, and I just noticed right now, yeah, you can even see, he does, it's right there. So, when I had reviewed Tails, uh, uh, I said, no, he, he didn't, he doesn't have butterfly joints, but he does. So, yeah, he just, the only thing he doesn't have is a waist level. But, yeah, um, but just like the old figure, you know, the articulation is pretty much the same. Um, yeah, pivot, not so much. You can look up right about there, look down right about there, which is something I forgot to do on the other figure. Um, yeah, he's got that angry face expression, which I think looks good on Tails. <laughs> I'm glad we got him with like a new expression there. So yeah, that's basically how he looked like in the trailer when he was getting ready to fight Shadow, only to get kicked in the face. And Shadow and Tails got beef. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, anyways, so yeah, um, the Tails are you know articulated so you can actually move them and stuff so that was something that we saw on the previous figure um you know got the realistic eyes yet again yeah uh let's see here you get a hinge right there arms uh you can bend at the elbows yeah open his fingers got the hinge where his wrists are so you can you know yeah move the hands up and down um, let's see, uh, move down to the legs, he can kick forward right about there, and kick back. Mm. Right about there, well, his tail's kind of getting away. Um, and then, uh, let's see, you can move, or bend at the knees, and yeah, when you get a hinge, you know, under his socks, so he can move his feet. Yeah. 
so that is pretty much it um let's see so when compared next to the wait one figure um yeah um, pretty much the same just the facial expression and uh the only major difference that uh, these two have is well not only like this one's um mad and this one's happy but no um, the soles of his shoes on this one are black and on this figure they're gray so that's kind of strange but i think the the black soles are more accurate to the movie so yeah this one's more accurate but they're still both great figures so i like both of these the same so yeah so that's uh that is that actually he might not be able to he might have to put his uh, tails like that there we go all right so move these guys out of the way now let's take a look at the newcomer so here is the sonic movie 3 knuckles figure so dang this guy is huge wow so yeah, uh, here's Knuckles. He is the new, um, the only new figure, you know, in the in the set. Well, not really. The other ones are all different, but like you know, he's like um, the only new character. So yeah, I'm really glad. I mean, of course they were gonna give him a figure. Um, you know, it's just a matter of time. And uh, he looks great um, right off the bat. I mean, you can tell he's way bigger than the old one got a big glow up um, I love the realistic eyes here again you can see he's got that you know he looks very intimidating those bad a eyes are nice and purple you know he's frowning almost so yeah um he's also got like the realistic texture all around his fur his dreadlocks look great it's the back of the figure Oh, you see his tail too. Yeah. Um, got that crescent moon on his tummy. Uh, as for articulation, uh, he's not really able to move his head, of course, because the dreadlocks get in the way or his grills. Um, but uh, yeah, um, he does have butterfly joints, though. I think. I think. Yeah. Aren't those the butterfly joints? But you won't really be able to use them as much because, you know. The, the dreadlocks but yeah um you see he does get a hinge right there yep his arms move he can like put his hands in the air like he just don't care um you see he got a ball joint right here so he can bend his elbows of course just like the others his well his knuckles or his well hands or fists or whatever are ah articulated you know, you can open his hands, make him hold Chaos Emeralds or whatever. He won't be able to hold the Master Emerald because it's too big. Well, actually, no, maybe. Well, eh, because the movie Master Emerald is smaller than a regular Chaos Emerald. Eh, but whatever. Um, going down to the legs, he can kick forward right about there. Kick back. Um, right about there. There? Does that count? Yeah. Let's uh, see, his legs can spread out this wide. Oh, damn. You can actually make him do the splits. Not completely, but okay, almost. Um, and let's see, well, of course, you get that ball hinge right here, or ball peg, and you can bend at the knees, and you still get the, yeah, the hinge right there. Um, I can't really move it as much. Um, oh, yeah, well, you know. And a closer look at his shoes, they look great, um, nice and shiny right there. And of course, he got the classic green socks and the red shoes with the yellow stripes. And the soles of his shoes are also detailed as well. Look at that, that is nice, it looks very realistic. Like shoes you would wear in real life. And of course, he does have you know the waist swivel. And you can actually, yeah, he can bend back and a little forward so. That is pretty cool. And he can move side to side as well. Nice. So yeah. Um, this is literally the perfect <laughs> Knuckles figure. So yeah. Uh, let me just fix him up pretty quick. And just go ahead and... There we go. 
So let's just go ahead and compare him next to his old self. Yup, this is a movie <laughs> movie two figure compared to movie three. Yup. Big change. Alright. Last but not least, we got the ultimate life form. Shadow. So here is the shadow that comes in this four pack. Pretty much the same as before. Eh, he's a little dirty. Oh wow, I was actually able to take that off. I don't know what that was. Alright, I thought that was like part of like, the paint or whatever, but no. Alright. Uh so yeah, um he is pretty much the same figure as before. Um, except of course he doesn't have the waist swivel or the butterfly joints, unfortunately. But that's alright, of course you gotta you know you gotta leave room for the batteries and of course you know press the button right there so he can um, do his thing. So yeah. Um but he looks great. Um, one thing that I do like about this figure is that, like, the, um, you know, since how, like, the, like, the mouths are, like, sculpted in, or, like, the frowns and the smiles, um, they kind of have to, like, paint over them on top, and mine actually does go all the way, so that was, uh, something that on my other shadow figure, um, it kind of didn't go all the way, but this one does, so it does look a little better, but yeah, um, you know, it's pretty much the same, um, as for articulation, let me see what we can... You know, move his head back to the side. Let um, me get a hinge right here. So he can. You know, it's kind of difficult to move the joints. Oh, wait. Yeah. So, yeah, you can move his arms up and down. Get a ball hinge right there. Or ball peg. So we can bend at the elbows. We can open his hands. Um, it's kind of hard to, like, Use, I don't know if it's glued or if it's stuck in place or if it was just placed wrong, but for some reason I can't move the hinge right there um, um, Where his wrist is like I can't move it. It's very hard. I think it is glued. I don't know. I think it's stuck So it's kind of unfortunate that it had to happen with this figure But that's why I have the other one I and mean, the other one does have more articulation now He does have some yellow paint right there on his fur, but that's all right. Um, I can't really yeah, notice any other kind of paint splotches or anything for the most part. It's just that, so it's kind of unfortunate. Oh, yeah, and right here, some of the black paint got onto the inhibitor rings. So, yeah, so it's a little messy, but eh, it's, it's all right. It's all good. That's why I got two of these figures. So that's kind of the plus. Like, if you have the original and get these guys, not only for the light-up, but you'll have two figures. So, you know, one might be better than the other. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, going down to the legs, he can kick forward right about there. Very nice. And kicking back. Oh, heard that snap. <laughs> right about there. So, yeah. And uh, his legs can split that far. Yeah. And of course, you get a bend at the knees. And then you still get the, you know, the hinges underneath his inhibitor mix. So you can move the shoes around and stuff so yeah that is nice so just oh <laughs> actually turn him on we'll be testing that out in a little bit i want to see how well they glow in the dark so yeah now, let me just compare him to the wave one figure so here he is so yeah um they do kind of look a little different though like if you look at their faces i don't know something about this guy he looks a lot more mad than this one, but I like this one. This one looks more cleaner though. Like, I don't know. Something about this one. I love both of these figures the same. Um, of course, this one is the better figure, I'd say, because it literally looks exactly the same. Like, it's just the same figure. This one looks a little bit more, like, angry or, like, intimidating than this one. But, uh, you know, besides that, I mean, they're pretty much the same figure. Um, the only thing, well, Sonic, those were actually two different figures because, you know, he had a different facial expression, but these are, like, almost identical. So, yeah. Um, what I do like about this one, though, is that the eyes, oh, something I forgot to mention about Sonic, they actually go all the way up. Um, I forgot to point that out in my review for the other fi two figures, but, like, the eyes on this one, they kind of cut off almost at the top. So, from some angles, he might look a little bit weird. Might look a little strange, but that's all right. Um, but yeah, but these, they don't do that. So that's kind of, that, that's nice. But uh, yeah, there they are next to each other.
both two very good shadow figures. Alright, so time for the moment you've all been waiting for. So let's see how good they glow in the dark. So let's just... Alright, so I'm gonna put... Shadow right there. Alright! Turn off the lights! Okay, so... Shadow. Sonic. Yo! Let's go ahead and do that one more time, but this time they're going to be staring at each other. Staring contest. Okay, so just... Oh, I'm going to... Don't fall. Alright, so here we got Team Sonic. And in case you wanted to see Eggman, I'll just put him. Ooh, whoa, easy there. We'll just put him right there <laughs> behind Sonic. And then, of course, can't not have the ultimate life form. So, there you go. So, uh, that's gonna be about it for this video. Um, I rate this whole pack a freaking a. a a million out of ten. Um, you know, these figures are perfect. These are literally the perfect Sonic figures. I'm so happy that I was able to get my hands on not only just Wave 1, but this pack as well. Um, I literally got all of the figures now. I just gotta wait for Wave 2 to come out so I can get that Super Sonic figure. And, um, yeah, that's, that's it. Um, so yeah, um, th thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and if you don't want to miss out on any uploads, you can always go ahead and click that notification bell so you don't want to miss out on future videos. You guys have a great rest of your day or night, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!